Hootie the Owl. I have three children, Naughty, Greedy and Goldilocks. Pat the little rat who does not have a family of his own now lives with us. Mommy, do you know what happened in school today? My friend Crazy wants all of us to jump down from the tallest tree in the school tomorrow. Isn't that exciting? But what if you hurt yourself, Naughty? You will not do that, Naughty, and you will not play with this boy anymore. But why, Mommy? He is my friend. I am hungry, Mommy. Can I eat Pat? No, you can't eat Pat. He is your brother. Anyway, I am going to tell you all a story. Long, long ago, there lived a king who was very fond of monkeys. He had one favorite monkey who he kept very close to him like a friend. The king thought that the monkey was very clever and almost like a human being. When the king took rest in his room, the monkey used to sit beside him and look after him as a bodyguard. Few days later, the king went to the nearby forest to hunt animals and birds. When he came back after hunting, he was very tired and sleepy. So that day, he went to sleep early. He told his monkey, Keep a watch around so that no one disturbs me while I sleep. The monkey said, Okay, and sat beside the king and guarded him with a sword in his hand. After a while, the monkey heard a fly buzzing around in the room. The fly came nearer and nearer and finally sat on the face of the sleeping king. The monkey tried very hard to shoo away the fly, but it kept on buzzing over the king's face. It flew and sat on his nose again and again. Irritated and angry, the monkey said, I am going to kill that fly. So when the fly sat on the king's nose once again, he hit it with the sword. The fly flew away, but the sword fell on the king's nose and his nose was cut off. So the poor king lay there on his bed without a nose. So children, the moral of the story is that a wise enemy is better than a foolish friend. Come children. Let us all go and eat. Come on, Greedy, you must be really hungry. Hootie's bag of